Hi, I'm Matt Smith here at Six String Ranch in beautiful Austin, Texas. Today on the ranch we have Jenny Reynolds. Jenny is an award-winning singer-songwriter who hails from the Northeast originally, but has been here in Austin for quite some time. She's a great teacher, and she's going to teach you how to do a little finger picking. Here's Jenny. <music> Hey, I'm Jenny Reynolds. Today we're going to begin Travis picking. Travis picking was popularized by Merle Travis and is characterized by an alternating bass pattern. The first note we start with in an A chord is A. It is the open fifth string and if I count four you can play it in four beats like this. But we want to have an alternating bass which means we're going to be switching so what do we switch to with an open a chord we're going to be switching to the e on the fourth string one two three four one two three four one two three four so now we're going to switch to an e chord because the E chord's root note is on the sixth string. We will be plucking the sixth string on beats one and three. We will be plucking a higher bass note on beats two and four. In this case, it's on the fourth string. And that would be like this. The next chord we could switch to would be a D chord. A D chord has its root note on the fourth string, the open D. So we would be hitting that on beats one and three. We would then alternate to the third string for beats two and four, and that sounds like this. So let's put it all together. Let's put a melody to our alternating bass. We're, once again, we're on the A chord, and we're gonna be alternating on the beat. One, two, three, four. Now with the open form A chord, you can just leave your left hand in place and strike root note, third string, fourth string, second. If I move to the E chord, you just leave your left hand right there. Again, we will be alternating. So you'll go from the sixth string to the fourth string. One, two, three, Four. If we add the same melody notes, the only note that changes is the root note. This time with an E chord, it's on the sixth string. But we can still hit the third, the fourth, and the second in the same order. For the D chord pattern, because we shifted your hand down to catch the open fourth string root note, the whole picking pattern shifts down. So you're going to go root note, second string, third string, first. You would use that picking pattern for any a uh, D family chord, or any chord that only uses the top four strings of the guitar. So if we were to put all three of these chords together, you might try it like this. Mm -hmm. 